David, how are you? I'm fine. That's my buddy Jim. I know Jim. Yeah, I know you do. Now, how you been? Good. Okay. This is the new little one. This is the the new little one. Are you going to be all right? Yep. You're, I, okay. Okay. Nothing to reach for. No, okay. Get yourself situated so you're comfortable. Ah. Okay. Why don't you read this first? What does that say? Attached is an amendment which clarifies earlier F and W order. How will the service Fish enforce and the Yep. Yep. Okay, the what do you you tell us what it says? I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna read you. Interstate commerce, imported and exported, and used in other ways that would require all this stuff be prohibited under the ESA without an ESA permit. The prohibitions enforced against items that meet elements A, B, and C above, but not element D, and were imported prior to September 22nd. Therefore, articles that meet the ESA antique exception may be sold in interstate commerce, imported, exported, and used in other ways without an ESA permit, all of which they made a big deal of and put me in prison for. And, well, that that's, was that's the law the, then, though. They changed the law. They didn't change the law. They clarified it. So what So what does that mean? Do they compensate you for this no. mistake? No. Why not? Uh, because you were, they haven't. Were you, what, I, do you I, feel you were unjustly imprisoned? Of course. That tells you that antique scrimshaw is legal and may be sold interstate, according to the federal government. Okay. So that's the clarifications that they printed during the... Uh, Symposium in Washington on May, I think it was May 19th of the year before last, to have elephant ivory declared illegal for importation into this country. And in order to do that, they clarified the laws regarding Scrimshaw. And what I've been maintaining all along, which it clearly states in most laws, including National Geographic, 2011, the week they first came to see me, Antique Scrimshaw is legal for import. And my attorney, who was a federal defense attorney, wouldn't bring that up in my trial. She would not attack anything to do with endangered species, only the conspiracy part, which she obviously failed on, even though we had two emails from my supposed cohorts stating that they had lied to me and that they did not have the proper paperwork and yet I'm supposed to be in a conspiracy with them. Interesting. So what happens now? I mean, it's happened. It's done. It's done. It's over with. If I wanted to have everything reversed, according to a friend of mine who's a district attorney for Florida, uh, who's also a scrimshaw collector, I would need to go through the federal court system, work my way up court by court, which would take me about five years' time with monthly trips to Washington, and I would need somewhere between Five hundred and seven hundred thousand dollars to pay my legal fees, and to do, if I do that, I can have the whole thing reversed. What would then, that do for? And you? then go for compensation. And then go, yeah. I mean, yeah. I lost about a million dollars in sales and and my business. And at this point in my life, I could give a flying blank, and I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my life. It's not worth the hassle. Okay. I've already learned. You just don't. It, what really, I've already learned that the federal government will lie through their teeth and do whatever they can to get what they want. They don't care what the actual facts are. All right. So now let's. Why let's, go through it again? A lot again? of people don't know your story because it's been so many years now. Okay. Okay. Uh, about four years ago, did, wasn't it? About four years ago, a you lot and longer I. Longer than that. Well, when we went for a ride, the last that time was, you and I was that four years. That ago? That was five years ago. All right, five years ago, you went for a ride with me. Yes, I did. And uh, it was right before it was right before you went to prison. Cor and right before went I to, went to trial. No, it was prison. You were getting was ready it? to go. Was yes. it? Okay. Yes. Okay. It was. It was. You were going. Okay. And um, and we did this mm -hmm. amazing interview with you. Now you've been to prison. I've been to. I how survived. Long, how long were you in for? I did 29 months in Devons. Medical center. I was supposed to be What's in. What's that? The a camp. medical center. Uh, it's one of five federal medical centers for federal prisoners who have major illnesses. It's sort of like a hospital, but it's a it's a prison. Okay. And I was there, be, and I was supposed to be in the camp. 
I was told going in and of course I arrived and was put in chains and led up the concrete walkway into the general prison and into solitary confinement for six days uh, while they t tested me for TB. I see. That's supposed to be a three-day thing, but of course, with my, with, with, with my luck, I got six days because what was at, that like? at 4.30 on Friday, I said, okay. I'm supposed to be out of here. And they said, oh, we don't do anything after 4 o'clock. You'll, you'll be out here on Monday. Okay, what was that like? That was crazy. You're, right, you're sitting in an 8 by 10 cell yeah. with no music, no books, no paper, no pencil, nothing to do but sit there wow. for six days and stare up at the holes in the uh, mattress set up above you because it's two beds. I was I was by myself, and you was there you get a window? Just, you get to think. There's a window about four feet by eight inches. Okay, but you can't see out of it. It's you, too you can high see out of it, can't... but all you can see is the grass outside the unit. I see. I so what to, were you I, thinking? I did get to spend another time in this in the hole, as we call it, the SHU, Special ho Solitary Housing Unit, SHU, because I was blamed for passing paperwork on a fellow inmate who had raped a 22-month-old and was claiming that he was there for marijuana. And somebody else found out that he had actually raped this baby along with a bunch of young teenagers. Oh my God. And I was at the law library doing research seated next to this gentleman and he said here look at this and I looked at it and I went and I went holy blank and uh, that was it but the papers got passed around and I admitted to having seen them so they put me away for a month into solitary Wow! even though on the second day the guy who made the claim told them that I wasn't the one who had done it by then he'd found out who did it and I was the only one who. How come spent you keep time. getting? Why? Why is it, David, that you just get the short end it's of the stick constantly? We call it places law. Murphy had it easy. If it can go wrong, it will. It's because has I'm, it always been this way in your life? It's because I'm honest and I don't lie. Yeah, but have, and that gets me in trouble. Has it Isn't been that this, amazing? Yeah, but it has it been this way your whole life. Your whole life is this. All these things keep just keep happening. No, no. Okay. No, bad things don't happen all the time. Okay. But when they do, they're bad. All right. So, aside from that... Put it this way, yeah. I'm the only person in the country who has now spent more than a month in prison for endangered species violations as it pertains to marine mammals, and this is as it pertains to sperm whales, which, oh, by the way, are not endangered and never have been. At NOAA, which is the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, has been lying to the American public since the beginning, they withheld their okay. huge report on the permanent population of David, sperm whales. You've you've made that point over and, and over again no, until right? after my trial. Right, but now now it's over. It's over. You you got to let it go. You got to let that go. Well, I like I want people to know the truth.